Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss a very famous pattern of questions. We are given a plus 1 by a and we are being asked fourth powers of a. Now you could be asked a square plus 1 by a square. You could be asked a raised power 4 plus 1 by a raised power 4. You could be asked a raised power 8 plus 1 by a raised power 8. Or you could be asked a raised power 6 plus 1 by a raised power 6. Even you could be asked a cube plus 1 by a cube. So these all are very famous patterns of such questions where you are being given a plus 1 by a and you are being asked all such things, right? So let us see how we can reach to 4th power. Now think of this, how can we reach 4th powers of a? Let's say if I square, right, then I will reach a square. Now if I again square, then I can reach, right? So I will need two iterations of squaring. So that would be our strategy here. a plus 1 by a equal to 6. Okay. And what I will do is I will square both sides. So a plus 1 by a whole square equal to 6 square. a square plus 1 by a square plus 2 a 1 by a equal to 36. This will be cancelled out. So from here I will get a square plus 1 by a square equal to 34, right? 36 minus 2, 34. So I got a square plus 1 by a square as 34, but I don't want a square plus 1 by a square. I want fourth power. So again, I will have to do same thing, same method. a square plus 1 by a square is 34. Square both sides. So if I square both sides, so I will get a raised power 4 plus 1 by a raised power 4 plus 2 a square 1 by a square. Now 34 square that would be 1 1 5 6. So we will cancel out. So from here I will get a raised power 4 plus 1 by a raised power 4. 1 1 5 6 minus 2 equal to 1 1 5 4. 1 1 5 4. Do we have an option of 1 1 5 4? Yes, B2 have, right? B2 have 1154. So this is the answer. 1154 option A. Okay. Now, if you know any better method, then obviously you can put it in comment section. We can have a discussion there. So thank you.